Avaris was the capital of Egypt under the Hyksos. It was located at modern Tel El Dabar in the northeastern region of the Nile Delta, at the juncture of the 8th, 14th, 19th and 20th gnomes. As the main course of the Nile migrated eastward, its position at the hub of Egypt's Delta Emporia made it a major administrative capital of the Hyksos and other traders. It was occupied from about 1783 to 1550 BC, or from the 13th dynasty of Egypt through the Second Intermediate until its destruction by Amos I, the first pharaoh of the 18th dynasty. The name in the Egyptian language of the second millennium BCE was probably pronounced asterisk or at Wurat Great House and denotes the capital of an administrative division of the land. Today, the name Hawara survives, referring to the site at the entrance to Ferium. Alternatively, Clement of Alexandria referred to the name of this city as Atheria. Overview In 1885, the Swiss Edouard Naval started the first excavations in the area around Tel El Daba. Between 1941 and 1942, Labib Habachi, an Egyptian Egyptologist, first forwarded the idea that the site could be identified with Avaris. Between 1966 and 1969 and since 1975, the site has been excavated by the Austrian Archaeological Institute. Using radar imaging technology, its scientists could identify in 2010 the outline of the city including streets, houses, a port, and a sidearm of the river Nile passing through the city. The site at Tel El Dabar, covering an area of about 2 square kilometers, is in ruins today, but excavations have shown that, at one point, it was a well-developed center of trade with a busy harbor catering to over 300 ships during a trading season. Artifacts excavated at a temple erected in the Hyksos period have produced goods from all over the Aegean world. The temple even has Minoan-like wall paintings that are similar to those found on Crete at the Palace of Knossos. A large mud brick tomb has also been excavated to the west of the temple, where grave goods, such as copper swords, have been found. Towards the end of the 17th dynasty, Carmos, the last king of the 17th dynasty, besieged Avaris, but could not dislodge the Hyksos who were finally expelled some 18 years later by Amos I, the founder of the 18th dynasty. The 18th dynasty based themselves in Thebes and Avaris was largely abandoned, its former citadel becoming the site first of enormous storage facilities, including numerous silos and then a military camp, until finally a new palatial compound of the 18th dynasty was constructed on top of the camps and soldier graves. Avaris was absorbed into the new city of Pyramesses constructed by Rameses II of the 19th dynasty when he moved the capital back to the Delta, Minoan connection. Outside of Thera and Crete, only three sites have a record of Minoan civilization, one being Avaris. The others tell Cabri in Israel and Alalek in Syria. It is speculated by the excavator of Tel Dabar, Austrian archaeologist Biotak, that there was close contact with the rulers of Avaris, and the large building representing the frescoes allowed the Minoans to have a ritual life in Egypt. French archaeologist Yves Duho proposed the existence of a Minoan colony on an island in the Nile Delta. Bibliography Carl Nicholas Reeves, Ancient Egypt, The Great Discoveries, A Year-by-Year -year Chronicle, Thames and Hudson, ISBN 9780500051054, Pierce, R.W., Entry on, Ramesses, in Jeffrey W., Bromiley, The International Standard Bible Encyclopedia, QZOV. W.M. B. Edmunds Publishing. ISBN 9780802837844. Retrieved the 27th of November 2010. Manfred Biotak. Avaris, the capital of the Hyksos. Recent excavations at Tel El Dabe. British Museum Press for the Trustees of the British Museum. ISBN 9780-7141-09688.